Okay, so today I wanted to do a quick little setup of the the new Canna kit with the Raspberry Pi 4. This is the uh, 4 gig edition. I wanted to um, do a, you know, put the case and all that together with the heat sinks and uh, properly place all that. So, of course, we're going to need a... Uh, Raspberry Pi 4. I need a new case that comes with the can of kit. Now this is all with the the starter pack. Now you can get the obviously you can just get the Raspberry Pi by itself. You don't need uh, the case or anything, but um, you know I think the case keeps it you know nice and you know safe. A little bit better, and um, the heat sinks are a uh, are indeed a necessity, um, especially if you're gonna be running fanless or doing anything. Uh, you're gonna <laughs> these these are putting out some heat, so uh, you're definitely gonna want to uh, put some heat sinkage on that. As you can see, we got three of those. And I wanted to do a, a kind of a not mini review of sorts, I guess, of the, the new case and what I think of it. But, all right. So first off, let's get out our raspberry Now, basically, it's the three biggest things that aren't shiny, that aren't that. So, we're going to be putting a heat sink on the processor, the RAM, and this is also, I believe, the USB controller and some other good fun stuff. So, um, these three get heat sinks. Now, on the Pi 3, I had gotten the same, the same thing. As you can see, it's got the stuff already on it. Let me just pop it on. Now, of course, you can always take it back off, I guess, if you wanted to do something different. heat sinks all together now the new case comes in three parts you're going to want to obviously line everything up here Is that how you want to be? Yep. Right there. So 
Fits in nice and snug. That like that. That like that. Boom. All together. Now, there's some minor differences. Now, obviously, there was a design change with the new iteration and new hookups and all that. They had to change the way, not so much on this, but obviously right here. Now, when you take a look at the Pi 3, the way they did it, it's a little bit more contained. It kind of sandwiches together, so it feels much more, and everything is, I don't know if you can see that, but everything is like labeled, so it really helps for somebody that's learning, you know, what everything is, so when, you know, there's directions of where to hook things up and all that. Now, I don't know it, how this does for heat. I know... I don't have any problems with this one getting too hot to, you know, do anything. It's never overheated or anything like that. So, um, but with all that being said, still at the same time, it's a very, uh, it's a, these are robust little cases. They work, they keep, they let everything breathe. Um, I, maybe that's even an idea with this is the fact that covering this up anymore would be a little bit of a hindrance and where there's some closeness you know I guess I can kind of see the you know but that's just that's all right down to it's you know it's the same case basically so um, just without the the covering on the inside which is it which just is more for aesthetic than anything as far as I'm concerned but uh you know um, and the the uh, one other change was they they did a nice little label <laughs> so other than that though I am a, I'm a big fan of Canicat. Uh they they send everything nice and complete um, and uh, it uh, it always uh, has everything you need radar uh, and everything works and uh, it's a good way to get started in the Raspberry Pi uh, world um, it's definitely something that uh, I would uh, recommend going the can of kit route because you do again you get everything that you need and uh, everything is nice quality and uh, it it just all works so uh, yeah all right well I uh, I hope this was helpful especially with the uh, the heat sink placement and uh, all that and uh, I hope you, uh, if you uh, found this helpful, comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and uh, have a great day.